So tonight was a little bit of Humpty Dumpty action, if you will. Yeah. And I'm like, come on through, cook. Yeah. I want to put my soap on. That's basically it. Let's talk about drag and all its forms. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is my review for Empire Season 4, Episode 16. Like I said, there was a little bit of Humpty Dumpty action. You know, when we left off, they done bumped off Shine. And Thirsty had the crew, baby, and they took and cut up Shine and put him in all different parts of the city. And then when they turned back around, they ended up having to put it back together because there was this whole thing of the the crew and the board and and Anika and all of this and the board just wasn't going to go for the fact that Shine has just disappeared you know there actually has to be a funeral and there has to be all of these things because he actually has a vote and without his vote I think he was the swing vote Anyway, long story short, I had to get all the pieces and put them back together. Hot mess. Hot mess. Anyway, Cookie and her mama finally sit down. Um, she pretty much picks up that she was literally wrong. She's completely wrong about her mom and and all of that. And it was actually true that her father really did keep their mother away from them and she her mother's a photographer so she found her mother had all these pictures in her house of them as they were growing up and she's like how did you get these pictures and she's like I always was sliding and sneaking around in cubby holes and taking pictures of y'all and and all of that that's how I was able to keep in touch with you girls because your father wouldn't let me so she realized she was completely wrong. She was wrong about her mother. And then when her mother came to see her in prison, she basically, she turned her mother away. You know, so she she had to get that together. And everything was fine. And then they they start, her and her mom started talking. We started seeing a couple weeks went by in this episode. But they, um, her and her mom had really been like talking to each other a lot and enjoying their conversations and all of this. So then they end up having this dinner where Cookie and the mom and all the sisters sat down and Cookie, being Cookie, Cookie realized she's the one without the relationship. Candace had a, a had relationship with the mother and so did the other sister. They had they all had relationship and they had things that they could talk about because they've been dealing and Cookie got a little jealous. And she kind of separated. And it was like, damn, you know, it's like, come on, Cookie. And then she was shutting down again. And I was like, oh, damn it, Cookie. So we'll talk about that a little bit. But that's what was went on. The mother was like, I want to fix it, Loretha. I want to fix it. But I can't do it by myself. And Cookie was just being bullhead Cookie. So I was like, I don't know how that's going to turn out. But anyway. Let's go over to, they had this whole memorial service for Shine, okay? And they had Nessa. Nessa was singing. And it brought me back, because we ain't seen Nessa in so long, I kind of forgot all about Nessa. But um, Nessa sang at the memorial. She was really good. And I we had to remember, remember when Cookie and Nessa got into it? And Nessa got Cookie bashed Nessa. Remember that? Okay, so we had all that go on. So she still feels some kind of way about Cookie and Lucius. She ain't really feeling them. Lucius already got it in there. They got to get close to Shine's wife. Got to get close to Shine's wife so they can, you know, have her in their corner because they need Shine's vote. 
you know, to be able to be done with Eddie and all of that. Finds out that ain't gonna work. Shine's wife said, I don't do the business stuff. And it's all set up that Nessa handle all the business affairs that had anything to do with Shine, not me. I said, oh, shit. I said, okay, here we go. But Cookie and Lucius got, um, Lucius more so, got to Nessa, finessed her, promised her some things, told her, you know, we're going to take care of you. Andre actually came and apologized to Nessa. Y'all remember their whole thing. He apologized about the time they spent together and all of that. And she still was like, mm. So they ended up offering her Jamal's spot on the Empire House, the House Empire Showcase. They offer her Jamal's spot. And she's like, okay, well, y'all better put some muscle behind my career this time because last time y'all didn't really do shit for me. So they were like, okay, cool, no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the damn memorial, though, I fell out laughing when that damn Becky sat up there and told Jamal, she was going to say, you know, I should have let Shine hit this when he wanted to. I said, Becky, don't sit your ass down. That damn Becky is too much. I, I, I fell out. Anyway, Becky had worked out another deal where she got Hakeem to do this movie. He was going to do a movie role with this girl, Haven. And Haven was the only reason why he agreed to do it because he got a crush on Haven. Baby got down there, and the role was played by um, Karuchi, Karuchi Tran. She was just a bitch. She was a bitch, and she just was not feeling him, and she was like, shh, oh, my face, honey. And got down there. The director of the movie was just an asshole. He was very much white and very much given Hakeem. Now, I need you to play it like a gangster, like you, like your hair is Snoop Dogg in your head. And he's looking at him like, what? And he wanted this over-exaggerated blackness, which everything was so stereotypical. And Hakeem was like, I ain't feeling this. He ended up cussing the director out. The director fired him. And that was the turnaround for him and Haven. Haven ended up coming to um, Hakeem's trailer as he was leaving and told him, I kind of like how you stood up to him, this, that, and the other. He invited her to go with him as his date to the... Uh, house Empire event. I said, oh boy, Ooh, that's going to be interesting. Okay, so in the midst of all that, Andre goes and sees the pastor, having the pastor talk, and he tells the pastor, you know what? I want to be better, but one thing I can't get past is my hatred for Anika. I said, oh shit. He said, every time I see her, all I just feel is just hatred. So that's why he's going to care. He's going to fuck her up. He's going to fuck Anika up at some point, and I'm just waiting. Andre's going to take Anika out, y'all. Y'all just mark my words. It's going to be Andre and Anika, and he is going to choke her tongue out at some point. But he's like, every time I see her, I just... And, you know, the pastor talked them all out of it and all of that. I said, okay. Anyway, so... Let's go on down here to the event. We go to the showcase. Cookie and them's mother show up. And her and Cookie talk. And Cookie tells her, you know, all the things that I was running around being mad at you, I should really be applauding you because not having you left a hole in me that made me become the woman that I am. So everything I have is because you weren't there. So I should really be applauding you and thanking you. So that's kind of what helped her jump that step. And she's all right. She took her mother and she introduced her to the boys and they met. And I was like, well, thank goodness. Shit. So she met the boys and they came up and hugged her and everything. She's real, real happy. And I was real happy too. So I was cool with that. So that was, I was like, because you know, happy moments don't last long in the empire world. But I was like, okay, cool. So, Tiana, 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 Tiana. Tiana is performing. Everything's virtual in here. You know that. Because that was the whole house empire thing. Everything's virtual in this space that they're in. 
So we got Tiana up there performing. She's giving you the whole Janet Jackson pleasure principle experience, but she's dressed in white. Dressed in white. She got the bangs and the straight hair, the whole nine yards. All Janet, she's even doing some of the Janet moves. And you can hear people in the background saying, yes, girl, you're giving me Janet Jackson. And I'm like, yes, yeah, she is. She was doing a good job. It was really cute. She's performing, honey, and here comes Haven and Hakeem. And they're watching, and Haven says, is this the girl that you were all into? And I said, I don't Haven. See, I don't trust that Haven. That Haven, she got some issues. She started kicking it right on up a notch, baby, and she's an attention hog. And she turned around there, got the kiss, and I came and carried on. So, of course, the paparazzi was giving them, oh, shit, what's going on? I said, and Tiana was looking, and I, she, I said, girl, you losing again. You losing again, honey. Hot dick that got got away from you just one more again, honey. The two of them. Anyway, so in the midst of all of that going on, something ended up happening. Somebody that hacked something, because remember I told you everything's all virtual, and up on the screen is this picture of Blake. It's this very racial photo of Blake. Shut everything down. It was a mess. They go to Blake, and... Blake is like, yes, that is me in the photo. That's from years and years ago. My father had me take that picture. I didn't even know what I was doing. I didn't know what it meant. I was just trying to make my father happy. And he's like, but I'm not, you know, I don't feel like that. I don't, it was a mess. They, the fire Blake got rid of Blake and it held everything up. It was a mess. And then here comes Eddie. I don't know where Eddie appears. I said, Lord, Eddie. So Eddie comes and then the board is like, see, this is why we like Eddie. This, that thing, and the other. Then Tiana's over there and there's some other artists and they're all like, we ain't got time for this. We ain't trying to screw up our brand with this bullshit. It was a whole mess, a whole mess. Lucius and Cookie were furious and Eddie's just sucking it up. Then Eddie, Eddie had actually made a, a play toward the um the housewife, the housewife, Lord, the, the wife of Shine telling her that there was a fund that Empire had that they could tap into and get money out of Empire. I said, oh, Eddie, Eddie, Eddie's too much. So anyway, in the midst of this, they're like, well, let's get this all straightened out. The board's like, well, I want you to talk, Lucius. They sent Eddie up there to talk. And Eddie's like, well, you know, I'm standing here speaking for Empire, this, that, thing, and the other. Just got himself in that position, like he's going to save the day. <laughs> and saying, Blake is finished here. He's finished. Now, of course, you know, Lucius could have spun that thing and fixed everything that had to do with Blake. Uh-uh. Eddie then got rid of Blake. Talk about, I'm canceling his contract, this, that, and the other, and I want to thank the board for giving me the power to be able to do so, this, that, and the other. And the people were cheering, and he's like, ladies and gentlemen, Lucia's lying. Lucia got up there and choked Eddie, grabbed Eddie all up in a chokehold. I said, Lord have mercy. Lucius. And that's where we kind of ended out at, and everybody's like, Eddie's like, Eddie got Lucius by the balls right now. The board is definitely swaying toward Eddie, and Eddie just is up to no good. I am so sick of Eddie. I don't know what to do, and I really wish Lucius had killed Eddie when he planned to. So thanks a lot, Corky, because Eddie needed to go. Now, he killed Shine. Shine could have stayed. Eddie was the mother that needed to go. Anyway, all right, you guys. I'll catch y'all next week. Damn, Eddie.